the third pack, so it's been a pretty awful day so far for Greg Welch. He was well back in the first race, and there's no chance he'll be able to make up uh, any sort of ground in the second. So it looks like Welchy is going to start the series off on the wrong foot yet again, but uh, be warned, he always comes back. And we expect he may even do that as early as race three today. He certainly had a rest, uh, having stopped on the bike mark fuel. Not that that'll make a lot of difference, but Miles Stewart and John O'Hall are the two leaders. And a remarkable performance, and quite unusual, as Guy pointed out, to see two of the athletes able to drop Brad Bevan off. How often does that happen? It very, very rarely happens. In fact, I, I really didn't think that Jonathan Hall would make his impact felt until the third race. The third race, in fact, starts with a bike, and I thought that that one he would really go for it. Here they are, they're coming in a transition. Miles will be first in a transition and he is in a great position here for the last 300 metre swim. They will rack their bikes, get rid of their helmets and grab their goggles and head off into the surf and let's see whether they can be lucky and get a clean run or whether the sets will really cause some damage. Come on Jono, get that bike racked and get out of there. Jono Hall. Our bike cam man from 1996 obviously was pretty keen to get involved in the action because he's right in the middle of it in 97. There's Brad coming out of transition and the marshals, as you can probably hear in the background, saying, go right, go right, and he is now going the right way. He's with a group of athletes. It's not out of this at all, Brad Bevan. He's a strong swimmer, and with the surf being so tricky, uh, he only needs an ounce of luck to pass Miles Stewart and Jonathan Hall. Jason Meadows running past there. There's a whole group of athletes swarming. Spencer Smith's there. Welchy was in that group. Troy Fiddler, the last one to leave shot. Andrew Johns is also there coming in now towards the... Uh, the water. Let's have a look at Miles Stewart's form as he goes in for the first time to this rather cold surf at Manly. Uh, it's very much into summer, but the currents have not been kind to us so far on this part of the coast, and we've had quite a bit of cold water. As we see Andrew Noble heading down towards the field there. This is certainly his least favourite leg. He uh, would be almost looking to go backwards when he sees some of the sets that have been coming in, despite the low tide, which has flattened out the surf quite a bit and shortened it as well. A lot more waiting to be done in this particular race and uh, they'll have further to run and less to swim. Welchy finally getting off the course and heading towards the water now. And this will be still a wide open race. You can see there's still a lot of sidewash there in the early part and they've got to choose the right path out and their timing has got to be good as well. Miles Stewart first into the water. John O'Hall, well I guess if anything, working with Stuart Mark would have given him a little bit of a breather and he may be able to hang on to some position on the swim. It may well. 300 metres isn't that far but I think what we'll find is that the good waiters guys like Simon Knowles who are able to run out, dive and use the sand, use the, the shallows have made up ground already. We saw Simon Knowles was in that second pack. Brad Bevan lost all the advantage he had early on because that pack came in just behind him. Miles though has had a great run out and in fact he is way out in front. Guy Leach is on the beach. Uh, have you been able to assess the form of some of these guys? Guy, it's pretty tricky at the moment. Yeah, there's potholes. That the low tide is uh, is nearly at its uh, at its lowest, and and because of that, it means the guys have to wade out. They're very very tired, having used their legs in the run and the bike prior to the swim leg. Now Miles had a good run out. He didn't cop too many sets. He went under the water. He hung onto the bottom as he does, as he, he knows to do. And because of that, he's got a gap. Now it's just going to be a case of whether he can pull away from the way in and get pushed in, but. Uh, Certainly at the moment, a lot of these guys are very fatigued and they're, and they're treading very cautiously because they're not used to these holes in, the, uh, in, in the, uh, the bottom of the beach. We just saw running out of transition, would you believe, Jerome Sanson, arguably the best swimmer in the field. And there's Chris McCormack, who was just behind Jerome. So uh, it's a very spread field. And unfortunately for Chris, uh, reminding you that he was in the leading pack until he uh, had a problem with his bike. So that's it's uh, a great... Uh, problem for him but he still has one more race with which to pick up points Miles Stewart though looks terrific he's out the back now rounding the second boy he only has to swim back about 120 or so meters to the beach and then a short run up the sand and heading towards what will be I'm sure a very comforting 50 meters he's Whoa. almost picked up this wave just off the back well there's another one coming there's another two waves about to come in so he'll be in a good position the question will be, here's some other competitors about to, rin, to well, round the boy. Will they get one? Well, that's it. Had Miles been able to catch that wave, it would have been conclusive. He could get this one, but no, he's off the back again. 
There has been a bit of a rip out there at some stage and at some places it's going to be tougher to catch. Catch that wave, it would have been conclusive. He could get this one, but no, he's off the back again. There has been a bit of a rip out there at some stage and at some places it's going to be tougher to catch the waves than in others. There's one athlete out the back who has missed a wave as well. Miles is slowing down, he's hanging on, he's going to make the use of this white water. In fact, he's ducking under it, he doesn't want to get churned up. Just let it push him along a little bit, he's off the back now. And it is really hard going when some of these big waves come through. Here he is again. Oh. This time. Oh, and some. That's Bevan, that's a, I think. That's I think that's Bevan. I think that's Bevan. It's very hard to tell from that shot, but I'm pretty sure that was Brad Bevan getting a wave, and that really makes it interesting. Look at Miles standing up, having a look. Well, this he just... could have his goggles full of sand. You don't know what's going on. He's he's wading in very very thick surf here and I'm not sure if he even saw Brad Bevan here he is getting a good little wave Guy how close is Brad Bevan well, I tell you what he took off in that wave it dumped very very heavily being low tide at the moment now he's pulled right up alongside Miles Stewart and it's a case now of who can get out of the water the easiest now it's very very pot holly down there and these guys as Brad jumps onto the white water there he's pushed himself in front of Miles and that could be the winning break and another competitor has just body surfed the wave. It's Simon Knowles. Oh, Simon has Knowles, just, great performance. That Coming from nowhere. Nolsey, Nolsey's oh. going to challenge. Oh, Bevan's out of the front. water first. Stuart fell in a pothole. And look at the long legs of Knowles pulling himself out of the water. Brad Bevan is going to be too quick in the sprint, I think, for Simon Knowles. But what a great performance from him. And right up there as well, it's Chippy it's Slater, Chippy is it? Slater. It's Chippy Slater with a big serve. They came from all over the place. The wave swept them in. And oh, what an amazing turnaround here. Brad Bevan, with the use of the surf here at Manly, is under pressure from Chippy, who's putting in a big sprint. Let's have a quick look as Chippy tries to reel him in. Go, Chippy. Chippy, this is unbelievable. He certainly made it dead in this race, but Brad's won it. Great performance from the croc. Who said crocodiles can't serve? <laughs> amazing. Chippy Slater a close second. Simon Knowles could afford to try in third. And what a disaster for Miles Stewart. Left in a pothole on the beach in Manly when he really had set this race up. There he is now coming in in fourth place. Remarkable stuff. We talked about it. And I certainly don't think we overemphasized the fickle nature of this surf today and the part it's played in this racing. Here's Guy Leach. Well, Brad, uh, <laughs> mate, you can hardly say words. So I'll talk a little bit. That wave that you took off on on the uh, the last bit of the swim, I know you probably didn't want to take off on it because you were full of, full of breath and you, and you had to hold your breath to get down. It was something like six feet, but that made the difference. Yeah, I thought it was a big Wednesday out there. I caught the thing, but I didn't know I caught it until I just got pounded and I went under and the lights went out. It was pitch black and I got up again. I didn't know where I was, but I uh, kept it going. But I did take a lot of breath. Huh? Well, at that stage, it was a race in two between you and Miles. Now, you, you caught that little bit of white water that pushed you ahead, and then Chippy and Simon Knowles came through. It's one of the tightest finishes we've ever had with the swim last. Yeah, it was close. Huh? Always with a bit of sand running makes it a lot harder as well. But uh, I knew if I hit the hard, hard dirt first, then it'd be, I'd get a little, couple more metres break on. So had to make to the hard ground first. Now you've had, uh, you've had two good, uh, good finishes in the first two races. Um, would Miles be the hardest uh, person to beat, do you think, with this last race to go? Yeah, well, he's, um, he's got a win up, and with these races, uh, first place gets an extra two points bonus. So uh, he's, he's got a win, I've got a win, so it's coming down the last race. Well, good luck for that. Thanks. Good man. Oh, what a finish. Quite remarkable. Brad, quite rightly, and you can tell that... Brad is uh, one of the smartest runners. In fact, as I speak, Spencer Smith has only just come through the finish shoot, so he's thinking, uh, get me to a lake, <laughs> please. Oh, amazing stuff. Andrew Johns having a rest. Troy Fiddler as well. But that's incredible. Great finish, Brad Bevan. The croc has taken out race two. We've got one race to come, and I think you've probably seen by now anything can happen. We'll come back with more after this.